What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through uh, the Wayward Cave, I believe. Yeah, I got to edit a lot of the footage because, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your homeboy forgot to bring a lot of repels. So, in this episode right here, we're going to do a little bit of a side quest, okay? Side quest like how it's supposed to be. And then come back over here because, you know... I'm yawning and everything. So as you can see, we have a slope right here. Now that we got a bike, we can actually travel back to Orberg City and, uh, yeah. You know, do a few things that, 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 that is needed. Like, uh, let's go, let's go ahead and buy some repel, seriously. Because, uh, I don't want that last incident to happen ever again. And, well, it's been a while since I've been here in, uh, Orberg. So let's go right ahead and go right here and see what else, what else we can actually buy. Let's see, let's see. Okay, go ahead and talk to this lady. And she will have... Oh, look at that. She'll have a bunch of netballs. I'm going to buy some of that. Alright. And we get a Premier Ball, obviously, because, you know, 10 Pokeballs and all that stuff. And we are going to buy the crap out of a lot of repels because, uh-uh, I am not going through that whole, you know, uh, that whole editing phase again. I'm pretty dang sure a lot of you guys were, uh, were, were, were a little sick and tired of uh, the last episode. So, here we are. In Orber Gate. Now, there was a little area right here that we went through a while back. You know, we got a few things here and there, but the other part was that, yeah, we didn't exactly get everything because we didn't have a bike. Okay, so let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and start searching uh, this whole area again. Getting the lay of the land again. Okay, so breaking down that wall or that big old boulder and here we are back in the old Orber gate and there were some slopes around here or some ramps that would allow us to go even further right here and I'm about to sneeze <laughs> thank you alrighty okay so let's go ahead and uh, push that and well yeah that wasn't that was <laughs> that wasn't fast enough we need to get Let's see, we need to break these things apart. That way we can actually cross this place a little bit higher. There we go. And... Alrighty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot. There was a setting to it. Alright, here we go. Gattaca. There we go. Whew. Look at that. Okay, so are there any other... No. There we go. Okay, grabbing this. And here we found the TM31 Brick Break, which many of you guys already know is a very, very powerful fighting type move. And, well, let's see, I'm gonna zoom through this, and I think, yeah, I think I'm done with this area right here, so, let's see, there's, there must be another, another area that I could go to, I don't know, probably, I don't know. Alright, let's get the heck out of here, got ourselves brick break, time to move on to the next adventure right here. Anywho, as I'm recording this, guys, it's Christmas Eve, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys, if ever this comes out on time and all that, I get I've uh, been a little lax on my on my videos and whatnot. Been busy, very very busy. Trust me, guys. When the holidays come, the people come in for I would like to say for losing weight and weight training and all that stuff. So yeah, I, I earn money either way, guys. So let's see, where is the next place we can actually go to? Okay, we can go up north, or you know what? We want two badges. Screw it. You know what? We're gonna go up north. We don't have enough badges just yet. Um, let's see. Yeah, we kind of need... <laughs> we kind of need to use another repel because, yes, we do not want to get into it. We do not want to get into it with, like, some Pokemon right here. Especially some weak ones that, you know, we can easily defeat. And, uh, well, we can't go through the Ravage Path mainly because we don't have Surf just yet. And, bam, look at that. We are opening it up and we're moving forward. Let's see. What is next? I know that there's an area right here that we can cut through, probably, yes, use another repel, and, you know, that's probably one of the suckiest part about this, is that we only have, we have repels that are just 100 base, like 100 uh, steps and all that stuff. Going on a bike obviously makes it a little bit worse, and, huh, you know what, take off the bike, huh, there should be an item right here, oh, yeah, oh, huh! Okay, so, as you can see, we found somebody right here. Hi, I teach at the trainer school, and I'd like to give you a special lesson. Before I do, I want you to get, have these TMs. And we get ourselves a TM78. And what would that be? 
When you get snarled at, you wince a bit, and it's the same for a Pokemon. The move Snarl lowers the target's special attack, or, yeah, special attack for short. You could, uh, you also probably know, uh, know this, but the TM is good for only one use. Choose the Pokemon wisely if you decide to use it. Which is kind of lame, because I kind of feel like, you know, you kind of regress a little, Nintendo. WTF. Okay, so here we are in Florama Town, and you know what? I'm gonna buy some more repels because this is getting ridiculous. We just like, we just went through five repels, five friggin' repels. Okay, let's see if you got any better repels right here. Okay, so got some some of those Pokeballs, and well, let's see. Screw it. We're gonna go for eleven more because yeah, we're we're we're, we're just getting attacked by a lot of Pokemon. It's ridiculous, guys. It really is. Okay, so. Here we are, Florama, and here we are, Route 205, and it is Friday. Would you look at that? It is Friday, guys. That means Drifloom's going to be around, and I kind of want to make this a little interesting. Okay, so let's go with uh, Rosemon right here, and you know what? We're going to have to go into the PC because I, I kind of feel like this Pokemon's going to be weaker than, it would, than it, what it's supposed to be. Uh, let's go with Mind Duck. Let's move Mind Duck and switch Hydra. Okay. All right. So, actually, let's go ahead and save this. I don't want to like ruin this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. And here we go. Drifloon. I think that's what it is. That's what it's called. Bam. In event Pokemon, you've encountered a wild Drifloon. And Rosemon, we're ready to go. Now there is a little weakness. Oh wow, it's level 22. Holy crud. Okay, so we're gonna we're in for the battle of our lifetimes here. So here comes a Shadow Ball. Holy crud. This Pokemon is Oh yeah, it came. It came. It wanted to dominate, and well, we are paralyzing this Pokemon right here because Well, yeah. Okay, now let's go straight for an absorb attack. And that won't do very much because it is still a flying type Pokemon. Drifloon, you, you got me thinking. And here comes a payback attack. That won't be... Oh, crap baskets. Okay. You know what? Let's go with a Dust Ball. Let's see what happens because, you know, that's probably because it's a you know, ghost type Pokemon. I kind of like to throw Dust Balls at it. Damn it! Okay, so that won't work. And Drifloon, of course, using a payback attack, which will... Oh, crap baskets. So that will... Uh, yeah, that, that 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 right there will back us up a little bit with the evolution of of Rosemont. So let's go right ahead and go to Mind Duck. If you guys remember, we got this guy in the Grand uh, Tunnels, I think. And this guy does have a nice attack called Water Pulse. Let's go. Who's faster? Yes, we are faster. That took a while there. I can figure that out. And well, here comes a Hex attack. Holy crud! And that hits us pretty hard right there. So let's go again with another Water Pulse attack. Let's go, Mind Duck. And uh, good gravy. Okay, so it is confused. And this is the point where like, I have to be very careful with, uh, with the attacks that I use. Just because it might hit itself in the wrong time. And well, look at that. Mind Duck has fainted. Ugh, Jeebus. Okay, let's go ahead and use the next Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for Toxic Batman. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Let's go ahead and throw a Dust Ball. See if this actually works. Okay, alrighty. One, Deuce, and three. Let's go, let's go. Throwing out that peace sign. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> We caught ourselves a Drifloon, yeah buddy, okay, so Drifloon, the balloon Pokemon, look at that, ghost and flying type Pokemon, it is a Pokemon formed by spirits of people and Pokemon, it loves damp, humid seasons, hmm, you don't say, okay, this Pokemon's got me thinking quite a bit, so let's go ahead and give it a nickname, I do want to give it a nickname, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, a good nickname. What is a good nickname? How about this? Pennywise. We could go with Pennywise. You know what? Let's go with Pennywise. I know that there's like not exactly a clown. Yeah, a clown Pokemon per se. So, let's go with the next best thing. 
Pennywise for the balloon. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the summary of this Pokemon. As you can see, Ghost and Flying, Docile, and it has an uh, Unburden as its ability. Boosts the, st the speed stat if the Pokemon's held item is used or lost. And it does have some pretty nice moves like Shadow Ball, Hex, and Payback, and Focus Energy. Level 22. Where, where, oh, where could I add it on my team? Because I, I like I said, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really fixing to fucking uh, change up my my team a little. And I may have found it. Let's go straight for Toxic Batman. We're gonna replace that guy. Thank you for all your services. Yes, we will eventually evolve Toxic Batman at some point, but you know we got we got Pennywise. Kind of want to use it. Kind of want to actually try it. So. I'll be right back in just a little bit, guys. I'm going to heal up the Pokemon. Okay, so we're back here, guys. And, well, we healed up our Pokemon. And, well, as you can see, we now have a new member on the team, Pennywise, the balloon Pokemon right here. And, uh, well, our team's coming out nicely. Like I said, guys, we're not really going to be using all these Pokemon all at once. And, you know, we might be thinking of doing doing two teams, three teams, you know, whatever whatever it, it comes down to. But we're, we're actually coming down wide, like pretty good with the Pokemon that we're having. So... Let's go ahead and continue our adventure right here. Now, I do remember that there's an area right here where you can actually cut. And it's actually a, a, a shortcut to Eterna City. So, we're going to use a Repel no matter what. Just good gravy. Just because, you know. Yeah, just because, uh... Yeah, we kind of don't want to, uh... Yeah, we don't, we don't want to go through this whole area right here now. So, let's get this. Look at that. And our Lord and Savior Bidoof doing it again. And well, here is the backside. You'll find a tree that you can actually find a uh, Pokemon. And if you talk to this lady, I'll also you know about the castle decoration too. Then I'll give you these stickers. And we get ourselves three leaf stickers, which is nice. And well, there's more stickers to be getting and all that stuff. So now, here we have two items. Uh, one being a silver powder, which is good. And what is the next one? Actually, we're just going to do that. And we're going to go right here, grabbing ourselves the TM82 Sleep Talk, which is another great thing. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Now, there are berries. Let's go ahead and grab berries. Now, the other location that we're probably going to be going to is the Haunted Mansion around the Eterna, the Eterna Forest. I'm not really looking forward to that because there is a ghost in there. A literal ghost. All right, let's go right here. Raspberries. Oh, jeez. Okay, and right here. Okay, all righty. Blugberries. Okay. And well, let's go right ahead and get the H out right here. And well, let's go right ahead and do this. And we are free. So now we can go back into the Eterna Forest, and there is a little something there that we can actually find. And it is this location. Now, there is a haunted mansion right here. Now, I remember when I first got back into playing Pokemon, the first game I got back was uh, Pokemon Platinum. And the only reason I got Pokemon Platinum was because it was the definitive version of, of the series and whatnot. And that, that, you know, you guys already seen it that I like to do definitive versions. I, I like the third versions. They, they're very complete. I... I you know, for the longest time as a kid, I I, I never liked splitting uh, I never liked splitting the versions and trying to you know get Pokemon from here and there because normally as a kid didn't afford to uh, get most of the games and all that stuff. Now that I'm an adult, I can get whatever the heck I want. Uh, but I understood after that like why they would split them up because it's fun. Now here we are in the old Chateau Chateau Chateau. It appears as if it was glaring. Holy crud! It is a scary, scary location. Look at that! Oh shit, it's a ghost! It's a mother-grabbing ghost. Holy crap. Okay. This is scary. Yeah, we're gonna use a repel right here because uh, there are Pokemon in here that could eat you. And look at that, we found ourselves in Antidote. Now, if anyone can explain what the ghosts are about and what, what, what they mean... Holy crap, that scared me! <laughs> they Then, you know... Yeah, comment down below and stuff, and, well, I'm just trying to locate some stuff, like, if there's anything, uh, free or anything. Oh my god. Okay. I really, really don't like the music right here because it's just scary, guys. I really hate, like, horror movies and shit. I don't know why! It just, it, it just, whatever. Okay, so let's go right here. 
See if we actually see another ghost. Nope, we found this. An old Jatau. Do not know what this is. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at what the old Jatau is. And it might be in our healing items. Oh, the old Jatau is hitting speci spe specialty. It can be used once to heal all status conditions of, of a Pokemon. That is a rare item. I don't normally use it. And, uh... Man, you can hear the footsteps. Okay, and, well, let's go right here. And there is nothing right here except uh, empty this and uh, Pokemon books, photo collections. And, well, there's nothing else right here. So we saw one ghost. I wonder if we could see two ghosts right around here. I wonder how that happens. And here we have the, the dreaded rooms of doom right here. And I'm, like, looking around. And, yes, yeah, so I'm going to use another repel because... Yeah, I do not want to mess with any of these ghost Pokemon. They could appear somewhere. Now, in Pokemon Platinum... Oh, crap. Look at that. You hear that? Holy crud. Look at that. <laughs> and do you see the freaking... <laughs> do you see the freaking portrait? It's scary! Good gravy. Oh, my God. So many scary things, and look at that. We found ourselves a TM90 substitute, which is another great item to actually get. Not really going to use it, but seriously, guys, creepy. Nintendo no knows uh, how to make it creepy and stuff. And, yes, we're going to be doing that. And there is a TV right there. Now, the, t the TV has an oddly me malevolent fail. It is a if it was staring. Now... If I remember correctly, let's see. Can't use that here. Hmm. I wonder what what the condition would be. I, I, I let's see. What what if it was an electric type Pokemon? Uh. Okay. You know what? Let's go grab the item and then let's go back to uh, trying to figure that 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 thing out right there. Okay. So here we are going in, and we got ourselves a dread plate. And when the universe was created, its shards became plates. Okay. Holy crud, okay. So that's that. And, well, let's go back through the dreaded area right here. And, well, there's a TV waiting for us. Now, there is a Pokemon waiting for us. So I gotta, I gotta cut off right here. Let me, uh, let me, I'll be right back just to see, just to figure this one out right here. I'll be right back, guys. Well, balls. It would turn out that, uh, it turns out that we can't get Rotom just about yet. We actually have to wait until we defeat the Elite Four. Uh, that would have been nice to know. Seriously, it would have been nice to know. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here because I'm getting creeped out. I saw, I saw a, a, a scary figure and I am not going to stay here any longer. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That ain't gonna happen. Uh-uh. Okay, alrighty, so we're in the Eterna Forest, and that is pretty much it for that place. Now, I think... I think we have, like, one more thing to do, right? Nah, we, I think we've covered everything so far, or that we've ran into so far. Let's see. Yeah, we ran into everything, and now it is time for us to just go on to uh, the very next place, and that is going back to the cycling road. Now, if you guys remember, we, we got out of the cycling road, and... Uh, yeah, like, we, we, we got out of the cycling road and we went straight into the Wayward Cave. That way we can actually get Gibble. But, you know, as you guys probably already found out, that, yeah, we found, like, Gibble is not going to be available to us just yet. Unless we can, uh, unless we do, like, whatchamacallit, uh, we go into the Grand Underground or something like that. Alrighty. Okay. Here we are, back in Route 206, and, well, let's go right ahead and finish it off right here, guys. Let's go and uh, start battling everybody that we see in this whole area right here, because, yes, we are going to be battling quite a few other things. And this guy has seen us first. He's going to be like, I wear shorts the whole year. I've got energy to burn. Lots of energy to burn. Okay, all righty, so here we go. We are getting challenged by Youngster Austin right here, and he will be coming out with his Starly. Okay. Alright, so Electro Star, you can do this. 
Let's get this. Okay. Now, let's see. What else did we... What else we need to talk about? What else? Okay, so... Yes, we switched out one of our Pokemon. That happened to be a Toxic Batman. Eventually, you know, I'll get it evolved uh, off-screen and all that crud. And, uh, you know... Well, we'll eventually see what, what ends up happening, because I hear the Elite Four battle... The final battle happens to be the toughest one of, of all time, so it's just like, okay, if that's the truth, then <laughs> I'm getting ready for it. I am getting ready for it. I mean, I've been playing Pokemon Shiny Pearl, Pearl and I haven't yet to get there yet because, you know, holidays and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and go straight for the Waterfall attack right here. Look at that. Waterfall for the win. Okay, alrighty. And uh, there goes another Pokemon, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Geodude. So let's go stay. Let's go stay with another. Or let's go. Let's go ahead and stay with this guy right here. So let's go. Waterfall attack, and uh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so Geodude has been defeated, and Hydra's growing to level 26, or 22 right here. So alrighty, okay, alrighty. So we're kicking some butt. We're taking some names. Look at that. Okay, so that's that, and, well, let's see, let's go right ahead and, yeah, there's a lot of items right here, so we need, we need to get, um, let's go ahead and swap out Pokemon, let's go straight for Rosemon, we need to evolve this Pokemon, we really do, okay, let's get it, now, if I can't, if somehow, like, I can't evolve this Pokemon by the time I get to the next gym, I might as well switch, swap it out, because it, like, trust me, this Pokemon right here is like, it, it's like a woman. It's really hard to please, seriously. Sometimes it's really hard to please. Don't quote me on that, really. Okay, so here we go. Getting a quick claw. Let's go with the Absorb Attack. And there we go. Geodude has been defeated. Okay, so let's keep on winning. Let's just do that. And, well, he's about to come out with another Geodude. So let's continue on again. Geodude, got no chance. So, here we go, Absorb Attack, and, well, look at that, okay, we're finally winning, we're finally doing things the right way right here, look at that, Rosemon grows to level 25, I, yeah, I'm not holding my breath on the whole, you know, it, it about to evolve, so let's go straight to Ultra Psycho right here, let's get it, Ultra Psycho, ready to go, and, there comes Zubat right there, and well, let's go straight for a confusion attack, and well, there you go. There it is. Look at that. Okay, and then, well, he's coming out with another Geodude, so let's go straight for another Rosemon. Again, want to evolve this guy. I really do. I really, really, really do. <laughs> And it like it, I guess it's sunset, so I don't necessarily think it will evolve at this at this thing. I mean, there's still sunlight, so we'll see what happens. We shall see. Alrighty, there we go. And that was a critical hit. Another victory for our good old buddy Rosemon. And well, there we go. We have defeated Kevin with the Y. Okay, come on, evolve. Yes. It's evolving! Yes! Yes! Okay, so after 15 freaking episodes, guys, we finally get an evolution worthwhile. Well, not downplaying all my other ones, but yes! Finally! Look at that! Rosemont finally evolved into Roselia, a Pokemon that, you know, we can actually use. <laughs> and look at this! The Thorn Pokemon. Roselia rays a, on clean drinking water are known to grow vividly colored flowers. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And it wants to learn sweet scent. Eh, well, let's see what, what, what it can learn. Let's see. You know, we're taking away a uh, worry seed right here, okay? Now we're really going to have to work on uh, on this Pokemon right here. Give it some good moves and whatnot. And, oh, look at that. It's learning Poison Sting. Okay, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> let's take away, let's go ahead and take away that sweet scent. It learns it, and it, it, it unlearns it. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Roselia. Finally! Okay, so, I think its speed is gone up a little bit. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, well, 
I think I, I think I, I need to give it some, uh, some, some stuff. I actually, I think we need to give our Pokemon some equipment just to, like, you know, fend for themselves and whatnot. So let's see, we got a Poison to Barb. Let's go ahead and give it to Rosemont right here because that could be useful. And uh, let's see, Bug type. I do not have a Bug type with me, but I did. But let's go ahead and sort these things out by type. Okay. So yeah. Dread Plate goes to boost the power of Dark Type Pokemon. Do I have? No, I don't have a Dark Type. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and give this to Hydra because I do remember that it, it's one of its stats is going down, and that was speed. Let's grab this. Yes, we got ourselves a dire hit. Man, a successful episode. Now the next step is to evolve it through stone. And well, there's somebody right there waiting for us. It takes two to tango, so let's go ahead and swap the Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use our newest Pokemon, Pennywise. And okay, okay, let's be quick about this. Alright, let's go. So here we go, going up against Battle Girl Helen wants to battling us, and look at that, look at that, she's coming out with her Metatite. Okay, so there is a psychic type Pokemon right here. Let's get it. Pennywise is looking pretty strong right here, and let's go ahead and use its uh, Shadow Ball, the Shadow Kamehameha, and that one gets bigger, and that one destroys Metatite, so I think I made a good choice to picking out this Pokemon right here. Look at that. Okay. And it's coming out with a Machop. Unfortunately, don't have a flying type move just yet, so let's go straight for a Soldier Psycho. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's do this. Ultra Psycho. Ultra Psycho. Look at that. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go Confusion, because, yes, obviously we have to go with the Confusion attack right here. And bam. Machop defeated. Yes, I, I, I am feeling great about this. Look at that. My Pokemon are finally growing levels. We're doing big things. Fuck yeah. And, well. Let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and use that Dowsing Machine just now. Let's see. There might be an item here somewhere. I remember there was an item around here somewhere. Come on. Okay, there was probably nothing. Okay. Could be wrong, though. Probably, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. We defeated everybody. I know what's coming next. We're gonna have to get through this eventually. Oh god, I really don't want to do this. Okay, so let's go ahead and defeat these guys. Um, you know what? Let's use Rosemon and Pennywise. Let's actually wait. What do we have? Rosemon and uh, Pennywise right here. All right, let's do this. Bring it on. We got Camper and Picnic are ready to battle. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Let's go, Ponyta and Pachirisu. And yeah, I already caught myself a Ponyta. Pretty good Pokemon and all that crud. And well, look at that. We got two Pokemon ready to go. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take care of Ponyta first because, uh, yeah, that looks like the Pokemon is going to get us. So let's go right ahead. Here comes a quick attack. Rosemont gets hit. Here comes a Shadow Ball. Shadow Kamehameha for the win. Not really. Here comes a Growl Attack. Don't know why that's uh, white, 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 white. Really don't. Okay, so here we go. Poison Sting Attack. A little more packed, and look at that. Poison Sting has poisoned. Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, so my Pokemon are doing well, and well, let's go ahead and use a Shadow Kamehameha to patch Risu. Let's go straight for another Poison Sting attack right here. Oh, yes, I am definitely digging this Pokemon right now. Look at that. And Poison Sting for the win. Look at that. Ponyta, Ponyta has been defeated. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Look at that, and well, here comes a Spark attack. Completely forgot about that other... Capability. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Pennywise has uh, been, uh, yeah, it has been, uh, yeah, it has been paralyzed. Good gravy. Okay, so here we go. Poison sting attack. Get revenge. No, it wasn't revenge. And crap baskets again. Good God, we survived. And that was a critical hit right there. And, well, just because of that. Okay, so we got to switch out the Pokemon. We can't let this guy faint. So let's go with Monfernomon. Let's go ahead and start destroying. Let's just destroy. Seek and destroy. 
All right, Monferno Mon. And, well, let's go ahead. Sting attack. And that does not poison my Pokemon, but it's going straight to Rosemont. Does not work! And, well, let's go straight for a Mod Punch. I want to get a hit on this guy. I want a piece of its ass. So here we go. Mod Punch for the win. Eat it, Patrice. Okay. All righty. All righty. Say goodbye. Okay. Pennywise grows to level 23, which is okay. It's fine. And, well, you guys lost. You guys have lost everything. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon because, uh... I feel a disturbance in the force. I feel it. And, it. and I don't like it. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, heal this guy right here. And... Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, heal... Okay, we already did that. Okay, so let's go... Good gravy, come on! Let's go ahead and use that. And... Uh, let's grab this. Here we have a super potion. And, well, before we do anything, I kind of feel like we need to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and make a surprise. Let's go with Hydra. All right, bring it on! Oh, I thought somebody was coming. Never mind. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, defeat this guy right here, okay? Bring it! <sighs> let's go. I just got through Mount Cornet, but we've still got fuel in the tank. Alrighty, so here we go. Hiker Justin wants the battle. And this guy is coming out with his Geodude, so let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and just start just whooping on some people's butts, alright? Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with a water a waterfall. And look at that. Okay. Good old Gyarados just kicking some butt right there. Okay, so there we go, and that's another Pokemon growing levels right there. And he's going to be coming out with a Bronzor. I got the solution for that. Here we go, Monferno Mon. And I think I might switch the attack, might, might switch the nicknames. I'm going with that more than Inferno Mon. I don't know. It just seems, it just seems fitting. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it. Flame Wheel attack. And look at this guy. Ooh, destroys Bronzor. Just wrecks them. Wrecked with the CKT and uh, Electro Star, level 26. And uh, that right there is how the cookie crumbles, people. So that is exactly how the cookie crumbles. Okay. So that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna like we're gonna put the whole uh, Route 207 and uh, Mount Cornet all the way back to the next town in the next episode, guys, because we kinda need a little more material on that. But look. We have made a successful episode right here. You know, look at that. We got some pretty cool Pokemon. Captured one, evolved one. It's starting to take shape. So, in the next episode, we will be going through Mount Coronet. It's not going to be long, guys. Trust me. It's the route after that. It's going to be long. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode when we hit up... Uh, I don't remember what the next town is called. So, we're just going to go with the next town. I'll see you guys next time.